out there. You know, because okay. as they normally say in Sierra Leone, if house, no service, street, no good by you, we need to start with, you know, our community and move from there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Axton, what do you say? Do we need a, you know, a intellectual discussion, you know, via a symposium, convention situation? Talk about That's these problems, come up with solutions? That's right. That's right. It's, a post, it's just an, it's the best idea, I mean, to tackle this problem. Yeah, my take on it is yes, it's good. Okay. Ali Matu? Yes, I have to agree with both gentlemen is to, you know, come together and uh, put, heads together, put heads together to find a solution. Okay. Would you all attend unanimously? Yeah, absolutely, I would. <laughs> sure. Else? Yeah, I will attend. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um. This trade union industry is relatively new, you know, but thus far, in one word or two words, each one of you, what is our biggest obstacle? Axton? Um, we tend to go for the bees instead of the show. Okay. It, you know, it's show bees, so we go for the bees and forget about the show, does it? <laughs> okay. Mohammed? Um, it's a tough question because. Um, in two words. Or three words. In two words. That's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> I'm trying to see what, what I can say. <laughs> I think, I think um, we need unity. We, we need unity in the sense where we need our people to support us. Because okay. if they don't, I don't know. But go ahead. So. That's ideal. Okay. Um, Ali Matu? Um, recognition and uh, support. Okay. Do you guys know of any research available in the Sri Union world that pertains to filmmaking? You know that you can look at, you can read, study the history. You know, you know some basically some reference points. Do you have anything? Any one of you know of anything? Any nope. research available? Any books by Sri Unions? No. No, really. Not that I know of. No, okay, no not that I know of. <laughs> okay, none of you. Okay. We're defining some issues here. Um, do we, do you all believe, and I'll actually start with you guys one by one, do we all believe that uh, Sri Unions, as a people, those who are engaged in the industry, that we prepare, that we study, and we're normally ready, you know, normally ready for, you know, participating in the industry? Do you find that to be general? Do we normally prepare? I will start with Axton. Well, have they normally prepared? Um, no, it's a tough question. Uh, if I would comment to that, I would say uh, the organizing ability is there. It is there. Uh, but, you know, uh, carrying it forward to the fullest, uh, it's, not, it's not there. I can't really, I, I didn't see that. Uh, I didn't see that when I really uh, went into uh, checking what the problem is, you know. So uh, to you know to um, for for them to organize, uh, you know, like let's come together, let's do this, let's do that. It's very very it's quite easy for them. But then but then there are setbacks, the setbacks of unity, you know, that plays a very important role during that course. So. Okay, Mohammed, uh, do you find that our people prepare? Are people prepared generally? Um. It, not really, no. But one thing I know for sure, the very few people that are in the industry are very committed. And so there's more to, you know, more to do. And I think with time, you know, we, we'll get there. That's what I believe. Nice. Uh, Ali Matu, do yes, we prepare? Um, are we generally to, yes. prepared? Um, I have to agree with um, that. I think if, if if we tap into the ones that are really committed, which we do have a good some amount of them, I think we can get there. Okay, you guys have been very good at that. Um, <laughs> Axton, do you think that even those of us who are the best, the creme de la creme, do you think we actually delve into film history? Do you think we actually know Australian history, like who was the first? 
you know, successful Sri Union film movie maker. Do we know these things? You know, in um, your walks, do you find that, you know, people know these things, the accomplished ones? History. I, I really don't think so. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Because of uh, the way people discussed with me, the way we... Um, uh, even myself, I read really down. I have not come across any like that, you know. So basically, I don't think so. Okay. You know. Um, Mohammed. Yes. Um, that's a great question. Um, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. My question to you would be actually different from that. I'll move on to something else. Do you think? as Israeli Unions, as a people, and I'm generalizing, unfortunately. You know, we'll leave out the exceptions to the rule right now. Do we seem to know where we can find structured resources? Have you seen this around you, you know, Israeli Unions, that you know, you know, reading, studying this material, you know, about filmmaking, how to do a story, you know, script writing, story engineer, you know, how to act, how to produce? Do you think, have you seen this uh, evidence on the ground? Um, in terms of Israeli Unions, I would say no. I've not seen that yet, and uh, the reason being is because not that we don't have people out there that will take their time to look into the industry and do their level best. It's just that the way our, our industry is structured. That's why you know some of these people have not taken their time, you know, to 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 look into the market. You know, that's 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 the way I see things for now. But one thing I know for sure. With time, everything will change. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is a question to everyone as well, but I'll pinpoint one at a time. Axton, do we have raw talent? Do Sri Unions have raw talent? Do you see it? You know, did you see when you went to Sri Union? Do you see it in the Sri yes. Union in, how, in uh, the Netherlands? Do we have raw talent? Very well, very well. Uh, I started from here, and uh, those people we got together, the actors we got together, and actresses, the talents are there, the potentials are really, really there. You know, they only need to invest time, you know, and develop it. Back also in Sierra Leone, there are these young guys, young uh, girls, you know, we got them together. At the time, actually, I was giving training to them, you know, they, they have different groups, uh, I don't know, kind of drama group or so. And I got there, I was there looking at them. After the training, I I told them, hey, this is what you did wrong, this is what, how you should improve. The talents are really there, raw talents are there to be tapped into, just are there. Okay. Really. The on um, sorry about that. Are you done, Mr. Upton? Yeah, it's good, yep. Okay. Alimatsu, briefly, yes. do we have talent? Or talent? Absolutely. I think, I think, um, I think Sir Leon as a whole, is is full with um culture and and art and just life. And I think with the right training and the right um tools uh, uh or 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 schools or things that would help us tap into that and have it structured, I think we'll make a great industry. Mohammed, raw talent, do we have it? Oh yes, I mean we 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 ac we actually have a lot of um, talent out there because um, from my little experience, I've seen a lot out there. But the only thing is discouragement is also part of the talent. You know, some of these people that have it are always discouraged because things keep coming, you know, left and right, and discouraging them from putting their mind into what they are really good at. So if we can really focus on how do we you know, change the game for all of us, I think we'll see more of that, you know, especially in the States, which, you know, I live in. Um, people have work to do and stuff like that. So it sometimes takes them from what they can actually do with their talent. But, yes, we do have talent out there. Thank you, Mohamed. Okay, at this particular point, uh, we're basically uh, done with that uh, aspect of uh, the situation. And the next one we will go to is the...
This program has been brought to you by African Sports Monthly Magazine, a digital online sports magazine for Africa covering all sports disciplines across all of Africa, bringing you insights into the inner workings of sports across the continent. Check the latest edition out by visiting www.africansportsmonthly.com. Again, that is www.africansportsmonthly.com. Okay, uh, we are back. Uh, we are glad to uh, have uh, Barry back from Sierra Leone. Our new segment is The Opportunities. We discussed the situation previously. So, panel, uh, The Opportunities. <laughs> we'll start with Barry. Um, what opportunities do you believe that we have available in front of us? Very briefly. Yeah, um, if... Um from my, from my own point of view, if we look at the opportunities in Sierra Leone, there are great, great opportunities because, uh, first of all, the actors are, like, very willing. They're, I see, like, a lot of young, talented people here, and they are very, very willing to actually make it, uh, at least to do, um, to make a change in the industry. So I believe, like, um, from my own, if only things um, are changed from the way they are now, from um, within about five years, I can assure anyone that um, Sierra Leone won't, won't be competing with Ghana and Nigeria anymore, and we will be looking at um, maybe South Africa towards Hollywood. Because if I look at presently the quality of production in Sierra Leone, is um, most times you can differentiate Sierra Leone movies to that of Ghana and Nigeria. They look almost the same, and the, you know, the industry is very young. But for now, we it's like uh, just it just started, and we, we we've already reached that level of uh, Nigeria and Ghana. So I believe there are great opportunities in terms of investment, in terms of um, um, somebody starting up things here. I know, I know it's just a matter of time and having like, people that are dedicated and, and by the grace of the age, we will get there. As I say, in about five years' time, if only things are, um, we, we are ready to make that change in five years' time, we, uh, we will be above Ghana and Nigeria. That I can assure anyone, because I'm here, I know what is happening. I've worked in Ghana, I've worked in Nigeria, and I'm working in Sierra Leone. So I can see the difference, I can see the growth. I know exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Um, Axton, yeah. um, yes. let me give you some context over here. You know, things are changing now. We definitely have different opportunities. We have the existence of YouTube. We have Facebook, Skype, you know, social media. Things have really changed. The landscape is not the same. The Internet has gone crazy. We've got web, TV. What opportunities do you think we have in this environment today as Unions to canvas these things and probably, Kurt, you know, take care of some of the problems we have been talking care, I mean, talking about in the situation phase? How can we use some of these uh, things to uh, create more opportunities? Well, um, yeah, first of all, uh, we're talking about the YouTube. You can always, always broadcast yourself. You now, if you have problems marketing your products, you know, in this case, quality doesn't matter. You know, the story is what matters at this time. So uh, you don't need to, uh, the, if the marketers, if, 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 you, if the marketers are not able or they don't want to pr uh, market your film, distribute your film because you have, uh, you don't have a known face and you know, something like that, just upload it on YouTube, you know. When you upload it, you have a hit. And before then, you can always, uh, you, you can monetize your YouTube account, you know, and you, you have a hit. And from there, you can start making some change. You know, and talent there already. Um, that's just it. And what about the the place, the, the the landscape, the facility you have there? You don't necessarily need to uh, shoot a movie uh, using. Uh